You know, there was a time I was afraid to sit in a canvas director's chair like this. I mean, even now I suck my stomach in a little bit to make myself that half a pound lighter, you know, so my world doesn't come crashing down as well as this chair. I was 23 years old when I did the movie for Universal Studios National Lampoon's Animal House. 23 years old, and I already had six years under my belt as a diabetic. One correction here, as an out-of-control diabetic. I was on this 25-year journey of being an out-of-control diabetic. I had a doctor tell me once, you know what, Stephen? You're committing slow suicide. <sighs> Wait a second. Wait a second, guys. I thought this was supposed to be a funny video. But the, the people at American Diabetes doesn't have any kind of sense of humor? What? Well, it's different. You know what, guys? Out of all the things you could have thrown, you threw a pie. I, we're, this is a, a video about diabetes and you throw a pie? I'm a diabetic! It's sugar free. Keep rolling, guys. You know, being a film director, I wanted to do a film about my life. So I put all the interesting facts about my life on film and it only came out to seven and a half minutes. So the ADA asked me to do this, this real movie about my journey from being a couch potato of 320 pounds to my current weight of a lean, mean, low-fat eating machine of 175. And it's not unlike, you know, the other journey of that other famous movie to the center of the earth, except my journey started at the center of a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken with several sides. <laughs> oh. You know, I've had just about... You know, this is actually very good. It's, it's quite good. We're still rolling. Oh, still rolling? Still rolling. Sorry. Um, anyway. Um, uh, um, so, look, I called in a few of my Hollywood buddies. I mean, like Eastwood, Nicholson, De Niro, Brando, DiCaprio, and, you know, I would have had a lot more people, too, but um, they probably would have turned me down also. So, look, anyway, sit back. And enjoy this little film, and, and I promise you, I, I promise you, we're not going to get too serious, okay? Now that's comedy. Mr. D, big weekend plan? You betcha. Hey, we have a two-for-one special on certain movies. Really? What you got? We got The Piano, Runaway Bride, First Wives Club, Hope Floats, or anything starring Hugh Grant. Are you kidding? Did you ever see Hugh Grant jump from a burning building? Drive his car off a cliff? Take out five bad guys? <laughs> I don't think so. Andy, I need the four Bs. Bombs, blood, babes, and bonbons. Oh, wait a minute. Bonbons? That's five Bs. I found another B. All right! Thanks, Andy. They're due back Tuesday. Oh, make it Wednesday? All right. Okay, see you Thursday.
Monster Meat Mania Millennium Pizza, please. Real big one with extra cheese. Oh, and I uh, have a two-for-one coupon for that one. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This, this expired 5 o'clock. What? Oh, but it's only 5.17. Surely you, you, you have a, a grace period. <laughs> I got your grace period right here, pal, okay? Well, I, I think if you look at the fine print, you'll what find... What are you, a wise guy? <laughs> no. You laughing? Oh, no, no, no. Do I amuse you? No, no, sir. No, no. I make you laugh? Am I funny? No, what kind of way am I funny? funny. You're not is funny at all. Kind of a, no, huh? Is it a chortle kind of a funny? No, not you're a lucky I'm not charging you twice for ringing that bell. You're disturbing me eating the lunch there, all right? Let's make your pizza there. Well, thank you. Make sure it's a real big with extra cheese. It wasn't me.
Portrait of a Man in Trouble, Stuart Dorfman, Type 2 Diabetic, Lover of Godflix and All Things Edible, A Man Living in an Out of Control Fantasy World of Denial and Non-Compliance until today. For today, Mr. Dorfman will discover that nightmares and redemption come in many forms. He's just crossed over into the diabetic zone. Now you've done it, you ripped my hose. Would you like to buy some cookies? That went well. Seriously, gonna have to change your lifestyle. No, no you better not have stretched my vest. One order of fettuccine alfredo. 
one order of lasagna, a side of veal parmesan, uh, one order of spaghetti and meatballs, and a side of four cheese tortellini. And don't forget the cannolis. Now what will you have, my dear? Bring her some bread, please, my good man. Sometimes that shock diabetes, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. You know the thing about the shock? He's got those flat, dead eyes staring into yours. You go along not feeling anything's wrong, but he'll take your eyes, your sight too, or your legs. Just snap them off just like that till the ocean turns red. Lots of people with diabetes in the water. Some in control, some not. And that shark, that shark just circling. <laughs> Took my friend Herbie Johnson, Bolson's mate, soccer player. Both legs right below the knee. Snap! He was gone. Suppose that's when I was the most frightened. Waiting for it to be my turn. So you see, that's why I'll never be out of control again. <laughs> Sixteen million people in the water. Some in control. The smart ones. The shark, he'll take the rest. <laughs> I was out of control once, so... <laughs> see that? Stepped on a pop-top back in 57. Didn't feel a thing, almost lost my whole foot. See those round things over there? Mm. I can't. Well, not very well. I didn't see my eye doctor for years. Now I've had five laser treatment for my eyes. Mm. See that? You know, I really don't want to. You know, this is too much information for me, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the way to go home. Huh? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm tired, tired.
bed and I wanna go to bed. I had a candy bar about an hour ago, and I should have had fruit instead. <laughs> Footer. Aye, closer to 30, I think. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Thank you for calling Blockbuster. This is Andy speaking. Yeah, hi, Andy. Uh, look, there's something wrong with my tapes. Did you check the tracking? No, no, no. It's not. No, it's not the tracking. That's all the tech support I'm authorized to give. Thank you for calling Blockbuster and have a nice day. Uh, oh. oh, groovy, baby. When my mojo is happy, everybody is happy. Woo! Oh, baby. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, I just love it when you get rough. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Are you diabetic? Are you joshing, baby? I put the tick in diabetic. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, oh, come to Papa, baby. Baby. Oh, damn. Oh, baby. Groove it, baby. You're making exactly hot. <laughs> All right, baby. Okay, now show me some teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Behave, baby. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. All right, baby. Now show me your wild side. <laughs> oh, groove it. Yes, baby. Oh, 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 no, baby, don't bite. Don't bite, baby. Daddy takes a long time to heal. Stop it. I'm out of film. So what do we do now? Here comes Papa, baby. Woo! No! Oh, oh. oh, sorry, baby. Make room for Daddy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, groovy, baby. Oh, don't behave. Don't behave. Make my mojo stand up and beg. Oh, baby, beg, mojo. Come on, mojo, beg. Mojo, beg, baby. Mojo? Mojo? Oh, my God. Somebody's stolen my mojo. Is this the tick part of diabetic you were talking about? Oh, my God. Well, that's not me. It's more like mini-me. Oh, baby. Help. Now, sir, are you familiar with the term code red? I may have heard of it. Are you familiar with the term code blue? I'm not sure. Isn't it true that diabetics are more prone to heart attacks, which is a code blue? Are you familiar with the code purple? Code one, code two, purple, red, green, blue. What are you, Dr. Seuss? Who cares about all these colors? Your Honor, I object. Purple is not a primary color. Overall, Primary Colors is a different movie. John Travolta, I believe. Check your facts more carefully next time, Counselor. Please continue. Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to introduce exhibits A through H. Isn't it true that last week, on Tuesday and Thursday, between the hours of 7.15 and 7.23, you ordered Chinese takeout for a family of four? You went through my garbage. You went through my... 
I can't recall. You don't have a family, do you, sir? No, sir. Just me and my doggy. Isn't it also true? Last week at the market, you were observed purchasing one pint of Cherry Garcia and an additional two pints of Chunky Monkey. He objects! <clears throat> I object. Obvious attempt at product placement, Your Honor. Overruled. Everyone does it. Answer the question. I don't know. Is it I don't know or I don't care? Isn't it also true that last week you had to be bodily removed from the all-you-can-eat buffet at the Sizzler, from the kids court and the macaroni and cheese? Hey! I like macaroni and cheese. Who doesn't? I object. No, you don't. Now, sir, let's talk about your blood sugars. Why do I have to? What's with all these questions? And who cares about all these numbers? We shall see. Gentlemen, order. <laughs> now you don't object? Let's talk about your blood sugars from last Tuesday. 320, was it? No. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Well, that is not entirely accurate. You're lying. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Now, wait a minute. I can't handle the truth. Maybe you can deal with what's true, but obviously I am incapable of handling the truth. Or a really good Nicholson impression. So just don't you be asking me to face the truth. Oh, such a headache. I need a break. You're on a wind's lunch. Object. Object. <laughs> now, don't forget to throw the confetti. Not now. Oh, sorry. Let's just give it to the next door neighbor. Would you like some chocolates? No, thanks. I'm a diabetic. I'd rather have fruit. You know, my mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Well, I know what I'd get if I ate a box of chocolate. High blood sugar, blurry eyes, frequent urination, and irritable. These are the kinds with the caramel and the nuts in them. They're really good. So I said I didn't want any chocolate. Did you hear me? I didn't want any chocolate. I don't want no chocolate. Did you hear me? I don't want any chocolate. Bubba, have you seen Lieutenant Dan? Well, we just had lunch together. Oh, was he a good boy? Did he have his grilled chicken, his salad, his piece of fruit, his dinner roll, and his unsweetened iced tea? Yes, he did. He ate all that, and then he ate some of my pineapple fried shrimp, coconut shrimp, beer battered shrimp, toffee covered shrimp, shrimp egg roll, shrimp toad. Bubba, Bubba, where in the hell is that compound shrimp you had? Bring him back up here! Oh! Oh, 
Lieutenant Dan, what happened to your legs? You forgot to check your feet. Gump, I stepped on a bomb. Not a piece of coral! You know what? I stepped on a piece of coral once. It hurt like the dickens. Well, that's because you don't have diabetes, you simpleton! You know what, Lieutenant Dan? I think your blood pressure's up. And you know what? High blood pressure and diabetes, that's a dangerous combination. You know, I bet it's up right now. Bubba, do you happen to have a blood pressure monitoring system? Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, it's our lucky day. Let's test it right now. Let's just put this little thing around your little arm. Get that thing away from me! Well, Lieutenant Dan, you know what? I always say life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Some are sugar-free. And some have shrimp in them. Life is like a box of chocolates, but you know what? You can always exercise and work them chocolates off. Bond? Ah! Are, are you James Bond? Excuse me, sir. Are, are you James Bond? Oh! 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 Well, she was absolutely coming. Bond? James Bond? Who are you? Where's Q? Oh, don't you read the papers, Bond? Uh, Q's dead. I'm R, his replacement. Oh. Well, what have you got for me? I must be careful. Oh, bloody hell, be careful. This is a very it's expensive a very, automobile. It's a very low car. Just get in. Careful. It's nice. Is it, is it's it Japanese? Yes, of course. It's a BM Wakasaki. Go ahead. What have you got? Yeah. Oh, it's like... Let me... It's... Wait. Give me WD-40 or something like that. It's, uh... Oh, thank you. It's upside down. It's... Be careful, this card isn't paid for yet. All right, what special gadgets have you got for me today, Q? I've got the S latest. P? No, no it's R. You, what? R. R. Well, just R. get on with it. I've got the latest in the diabetic equipment to help you with your diabetes. N. Keep the enemy agents at bay. Well, show me. First, oh, ouch. Please. First, I have the latest in Lancets. It's a little laser job that I invented. Here, try it. No! Oh, my word, that's bloody impressive. That didn't even hurt. No, try it on the side of your finger next time. It works even better. Really? Yes. Well, show me more. Okay, I, I have this uh, insulin pump. Now, I know you're a type 2 diabetic and you don't really need the pump, but look at this. This is going to help you maintain your dapper appearance. You open this little door right here, and you see there's a little bit of shoe polish and a little tiny brush. Sorry, let me see this. Oh, this is unacceptable. We should at least fire some bullets and act as a homing device, something. You know, I'm going to work on that first thing Monday morning. This is Monday. Oh, my God, I'm late. Got you the white rabbit. Show me something else. Oh, yeah. I already have a watch with a built-in camera. But this one monitors your blood sugar level. <laughs> really? Well, that certainly seems a bit of all right. What else does it do? Well, it, um... It has one of those, like, little thi hands that go around like that and tick, 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 tick. Just like that show on, on CBS Sunday nights, you know, with the... All Doesn't the... this photograph anything? No. Shoot anything? No. Get out of the car. You, wait, wait. Get out of the car. No, wait. Open uh, the wait, door. I have one more thing to show you. Car. Two more things. One doubles a bomb, and the other one will help you with the ladies. Wow. The bomb? Yes. The ladies? Mm-hmm. Show me. It's your standard glucose meter. 
you see? And, and an essential tool for any diabetic. And, 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 and you understand, if you pull it out, nobody will ever be suspicious because <laughs> you are a diabetic. Shh. Yeah. So, look, you press this button twice. Kaboom! Kaboom? Yes. Oh, I like kaboom. Yes. And here, these are the test strips that go with it. Look, but they also double as a breath mint, which in case you need in those intimate situations. What are you saying? Uh, nothing. Are you saying I have bad breath? Well, Q said that... Q you put... said I had bad breath? Well, actually, only when your blood sugar is out of control. It kind of smells like fermented apples and everything. This is a really nice car. Lots of buttons. Hey, what does this do? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Get out of my car. Get out of the BMW. Do you, do you want me to leave? Get out of it. I want you to leave now. I want you to leave. Sorry. Hey! Hey! Get out of the car. I, 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 should I leave this? Take take your equipment and leave the car. I, Open the door and leave. Okay, I just... I, I'm gonna... Um, I'll leave it here, okay? Don't... Just go. This is a... It's a very low car. Come on, you're a just low person. Just go. Slide out. Here. Go. Like this. Is this the best way to go? Go straight um, till morning. I do, just I like Peter Pan. Go. Go. My God! Don't any of these things shoot? No, no, not yet. I'm working. On it. Ugh, I promise. God. Where did I park? So how was school today, honey? Great! I got a home run in kickball. You did? That's great, honey. Isn't that great, honey? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. May I have some more potatoes, please? More potatoes. Put the potatoes on. More potatoes, more. More potatoes, more. Potatoes. And more potatoes. And more potatoes. And beef, more beef. Put the beef. More beef. More beef. More beef. More beef. More beef. Don't do it. Beef. More beef. 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 More potatoes. More beef. More potatoes. I'll get you a hamburger. Bring me the hamburger. <gasps> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is good. What is this? What is this? I know this. <laughs> oh, it's good. Rock and roll! Good heavens, is that me? Uh, uh, now, uh, tell me about this uh, special meter that you have. Oh, I have this very special meter. It's, it, it always reads normal, no matter what you eat. You know, you can eat pizza and ice cream and drink a whole mess of beer and it always reads normal. You know, it never reads like 320 or it never reads like 11. It always reads normal. Well, I understand, but couldn't that be dangerous if you're a diabetic? You, you don't understand. Mine always reads normal. Is that really me? Cut. Do you feel lucky? Do you? Take the chips. Go ahead. Make my day. Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying in diabetes. 
Did I cry when my blood sugar was 250 for a week straight and my doctor called me a pile of donuts in front of my parents? No, I don't think so. There's no crying. I didn't cry. There's no crying in diabetes. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm proud. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> gets control. And why is everybody saying damn it? Ow! Damn it! I would advise you to stop crying and start taking care of yourself. Okay. Okay, Mr. Spock, I'll try. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and, uh, and take a hot shower. I'm gonna try to calm down. of diabetic complications. Norma, what are you doing in the shower? Do you want to get pimples? Norman, did you read that article I told you about in Diabetes Forecast magazine regarding sexual dysfunction? Mother, I told you I don't want to talk about that. Oh, but Norman, you must read it. You must, you must! 